Hey guys, how are we doing today? Trying something a little bit different with the formatting and the format of this video. Now in today's video, I want to talk about the new Avengers game. I got a chance to play the beta over the weekend and I thought this video would be a really good opportunity for me to talk about the things I liked, the things I didn't like, the things I guess I have concerns about coming into this game, considering we're only about four weeks out from the actual game's launch. Actually, that's not true. It's less than four weeks out from the game's launch now. So let's dive in and find out exactly what I thought of the new Avengers game. I went under I know the laughter and the pain before we start, if you're a new viewer of the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. I make new content on this channel every single day, looking at trophy content, PlayStation content, new game releases, trophy guides, roadmaps, all sorts of stuff like that. You're going to want to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider giving a thumbs up as well. And like I've said a million times now, I have started streaming over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash tptjosh. We play games for platinums and, and just hang out and have a good time, and I'd encourage you guys to come and check that out as well. Now this weekend just passed, I was fortunate enough to get hands on with the brand new Avengers beta. It was free for all PlayStation, I guess PlayStation Plus users, you didn't have to have pre-ordered the game, there was no prerequisites with the game. And I played for a couple of hours over on my Twitch channel, and generally speaking, I had a really great time with the game. I thought it was really cool with what they're doing with some of these characters and the Avengers, how they're kind of staying true to some of the stuff we know from MCU and how they're breaking the mold on some other stuff. And overall, I would say that my opinions on the game are pretty positive. And I left it feeling pretty good about the game to the point where I was willing to go ahead and pre-order the game after playing through the beta. So I guess overall that's a good sign. So going into things here, you can expect my my impressions to be relatively positive. But there was some concerns. It wasn't all all happy and, and furious. Now let's start off with the, the visuals of the game. I think it looked great, to be honest. The game reminded me of an action film. It felt like an Avengers film. As you're taking over these characters, especially the bridge scene that you play at the very beginning of the game, it was very cinematic and everything you're doing evoked an action scene in a film. And I think that was really cool. They definitely nailed that section of the game. They definitely nailed that feeling if that's what they're trying to achieve. You want to be, they're, they're trying to make you feel like a superhero. And I think they did a really great job of that. While the visuals looked pretty good, I did get a few frame rate problems, but I'll crop that down to the fact that this is just a demo or a beta and it's not the actual product of the game. I was playing on a PS4 Pro as well. So it should be running at its optimal level. But given this isn't the full game, I'm not going to criticize it for that at this stage. There was a little bit of animation jank as well. Uh, you can see when I started playing, I was jumping around his door and it felt weird. He looked kind of strange. He got stuck in some of these animations as well. I know I was being silly and everything, but everyone's going to be silly when you're a superhero and you're playing as Thor. So hopefully those kind of things get ironed out. Again, my expectation is this isn't the final product. So those kind of little bits and pieces, those nitpicky things, they should be all polished when the final game comes out. We don't know when this beta was, was was saved, essentially. They could have concluded this beta in May or April earlier in the year. We don't actually know date when they hit save on it. These demos have been around for quite a while now, about 12 months or so. So who knows exactly how much polish is in these demos versus the final product. These builds could be months old at this point. So I don't think it's fair for us to say that this is a final reflection of the game that's coming out in a few weeks time. Narrative wise, the, the game didn't give it too much away. We kind of already knew this whole thing about the Avengers being kind of like defeated and and then kind of having to raise back up again out of the ashes uh, to, to, to do this thing. It, it seems like there's a supervillain who has enacted some sort of plot to turn humans into superhumans. And then there's this other organization who is taking their powers away from them. And it looks like the Avengers are coming back, I guess, to try and stop this from happening. It, it's neat how the game starts with the Avengers kind of being at the top of their game. And they feel like these guys know exactly what they're doing. These, these guys have been doing this for a while now. And they are Earth's Mightiest Heroes. And then this kind of event happens and it like rips them down. In the beta, we played as, the, on the bridge that we played as all the different characters. And then we got to play a section a couple of years later as Bruce Banner and Hulk. And uh, he was kind of disheveled. He was defeated. He, he wasn't a hero anymore, and, and that was an interesting take on Avengers. The story though, not much more beyond that was given away. I am intrigued to find out where it goes, and the cutscenes were well acted enough that I think that the story behind this thing could actually be really, really solid if it's it's told and executed in the right way. Now, talk about gameplay a little bit, I suppose. The gameplay was was fun. Uh, we played, I played two sections. I played the first section, which is the bridge San Francisco section, which a lot of you guys would have seen in the trailers as well. And we played another section where we were the playing as the whole 
Hulk uh, yeah, infiltrating a lab, I guess, and just taking out guys in that lab. In that, that section, you're taking out more robot type enemies, and in the first section, you're taking out more human enemies, with a bit of a boss fight at the end of both of those two sequences. The first sequence was obviously a lot better. The first sequence, you play as every one of the Avengers. You play for a couple of minutes as each of them, and then you conclude with a boss fight playing as Black Widow. That sequence was obviously a lot shorter as well. It's designed as A, a tutorial, and it's designed as kind of like this opening punch to start the game off. And it does a great job of that. It gets you hyped, it gets you pumped, you get to play a little bit of each character, you get to learn a lot of stuff. You obviously forget a lot of stuff as well because you're learning a ton of mechanics very, very quickly. But as an opening sequence, I think it does a very, very good job. The second part of the game, when you're playing as Hulk, I think they slowed the pace down dramatically. It felt a lot slower. The gameplay felt a lot more repetitive because you weren't switching between characters so frequently. And I did get a little bit more bored through that second section. So my, my concern here, I guess, is around repetition of the gameplay and how that's going to be in the final product of the game. The gameplay is essentially beat em up or hack and slash gameplay. You're punching with heavy attacks and light attacks using square and triangle to defeat your enemies. And that's basically it. Is it going to be able to last the longevity of the game to keep you engaged though? And that's a question I just don't know yet. I had a good time doing that. And if you go in with that expectation that the gameplay may be a little bit repetitive, then I think you're gonna have a good time with it. The other thing to keep in mind as well is that you'll potentially be switching characters quite frequently throughout the game. And if that is the case, then I think that will keep things fresh and interesting because each of the characters did feel distinctly different. Now in the first sequence, when you play as everyone on the bridge, you, you, you're experiencing the different power levels and movement styles and I guess play styles of all these characters. Iron Man flying in the air being more ranged and agile, but his attacks are a lot weaker. Thor having really, really powerful attacks he felt very good to control, I would say. Then you've got Hulk, who also felt very powerful, but he felt more floaty, like he was kind of raging, and you were kind of going on this combo rampage, whereas Thor seemed more controlled. Cap is very similar to Thor in the sense that you play as him, and he feels much like Batman in those Arkham games, when you're jumping around, dodging attacks, hitting, dodging, hitting, dodging, using the shield to throw. But his attacks felt a lot weaker as well in comparison. Same with Black Widow. She was very agile in the way she moved and you got to use some of her specials in a bit of a boss fight. So all of these characters feel distinctly different as you play through them. And I think that's a really solid thing as well. Uh, you may like one more than the other or dislike one more than the other, but I think that's gonna probably be the saving grace of the game is that they're mixing up so many different gameplay styles. There's gonna be something in there that you're gonna enjoy. There did seem like there was a ton of bloat around the game though. I've only played these two small sections, but in those sections you're picking up cosmetic items, you're picking up items to upgrade your character. The skill trees seemed overwhelming from what I played of the game so far in terms of like upgrading your character's, I guess, suit or something like that to enhance his abilities. Plus you've got upgrade trees on top of that as well. And then just, you're, you're picking up just a ton of random stuff, which I guess is all the different types of currencies within the game. It was confusing. I imagine when you play the actual game, it's gonna be more manageable, but it, I got the vibe that, I, I guess that's the live service elements coming into it. Now the, 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 those are the things that keep you playing the game well past the initial period of launch and, and story and those things probably scared me off a little bit more just because they become very overwhelming and there's just a ton of stuff there that you have to be aware of I don't know how that's gonna impact like your just person playing the game to enjoy the story all the way through versus your person who's gonna put 100 200 hours into this game with its live service components my guess is that the reason there are so many loot options in the game are so that you can continue to upgrade your character as you do raids and battles and things like that to enhance your abilities even further. So that's that's my assumption around why that stuff exists in the game. It's not really my cup of tea, but I know it will appeal to some people as well. There was also a ton of cosmetics. Just playing as the Hulk, I found a bunch of his cosmetics and I guess that's where the microcurrencies probably come into the game. That's my best guess, as well as like collector's editions and things like that. So there's a ton of different components, I suppose, to, to that that are, I don't know, they're either good or bad depending on which way you want to look at them. Uh, overall though, I had a really good time with the game. I actually really dug the demo I played of it. I kind of wanted to stop where I stopped. I didn't actually finish everything in the beta purely because, because at that point I decided, yeah, I'm on board with this adventure and I don't want to ruin any more of it for me. You have to play through that game 
section again when you purchase the game because save data doesn't carry across and I was kind of like you know what I'm cool with this let's uh, let's stop here and we'll wait till September and then we'll continue it from there so that's basically my two cents on it I'm quietly optimistic about this game I think I don't know th th this game's been a whirlwind when it first got revealed I was not very excited for it then I changed my mind when I saw gameplay and I was excited for it then I changed my mind again and I've teared it back and forth several times now I, I feel pretty good about it there is a ton of negativity about this game online maybe it's justified maybe it's not I, I don't really know we won't know for sure until the game comes out so I don't want to be too harsh on things until then I like to generally keep things pretty positive here on the channel if the game if there are games I really dislike I generally just don't play them or I don't talk about them on the channel you know me I like to keep things pretty positive on the channel here so who knows maybe I'm being overly optimistic but I'm pretty excited for this game. I can't wait for the beginning of September when this finally launches now. And, and I'll be able to sink my teeth into the full experience and, and bring you guys a better sort of impressions and review and hopefully a trophy guide as well. We don't know what the trophies are like for this game yet. They may be like impossible, they may be really easy. We'll find that out in a couple of weeks as well, hopefully. But uh, yeah, that's that's Avengers, the new Avengers game. I don't want to talk about the, the cosmetics locked behind stuff and, and the Spider-Man thing. You know, these are all business decisions that are made to obviously help the game become more profitable and to help the game reach the audiences that it needs to reach. I know people might not like them, but they are kind of necessary evils for us to see the things that we see and play the games that we play, unfortunately. That's all I want to say on that. Uh, let me know if you guys played the beta as well. I'm really curious to get your thoughts. Are you sold on it? Are you not so sold on it? What, what, what do you think if you've experienced it yourself? Are you going to be picking this one up at launch? I found that uh, me and the Twitch chat had a really good time with it. Like I said, everyone in my Twitch stream seemed really positive about the experience and, and watching me play through it. So there was that as well. Uh, but yeah, curious to get your thoughts. This is where the discussion continues in the comments. Let me know what you think and, uh, and I'll see you guys down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give a like. And if you're a new viewer of the channel, please consider subscribing it would really really help the channel out anyway that's all from me thank you guys so much and i'll see you all in the next video bye for now